Well, um, I am Robert. Uh, when I on my business card for the Bregman brothers, I am brother number three because there are two other brothers that are older than me. Brother number one, which would be Ed, and brother number two, which would be Gerald. What's my role here? I consider myself kind of the chief concept guy. I'm the guy that kind of plants the seeds and gets everybody together and we talk about, you know, where we want to go, what are our goals, and how we're going to accomplish it. It's an exciting industry to be a part of. We jumped into it back in 2003. We thought the timing was right. We thought we were ready for this. This opportunity came up um, after lots of decision making and Ed and I said yeah let's let's go into grape growing. In uh, 2003 we bought Crane Hill. I see everything that we do here as being world class and very equal to some of the best in the world when it comes to vineyards, when it comes to wines, when it comes to events. That's, that's our goal. That's what we're here for. So, you know, our philosophy, we are all about, is the wine. The wine, the grapes. I mean, if we go right down to it, you know, our formula is pretty simple. It's find the best property to grow grapes. Um, if we have that, then we can grow five-star fruit and create five-star wine. The key is, of course, is, is growing it, having an area like our area here that is on the edge of rightness. It's, it's nowhere near make, being easy to harvest or to grow grapes. But what it does, it extends the season. It has uh, a very late season. We usually look at bud break around the middle of May. Um, but we get excited when we're looking at a season like this, 2015, which will kick us into harvest. Uh, lots of heat, just enough heat, uh, not too much rain to get us harvesting around uh, October, beginning to the middle, and then even some late harvest if we're lucky enough to do another Baron House Lisa, it'd be November. This is the year that can do that for us, and we get excited about this time of the year. And we've got a lot to look forward to um, in this region for, for great wines. You know, how do you separate yourself from your competition? Well, the number one thing that we think up here, and we've been talking about this for a while now, is that the wineries up here are not our competition. They're our neighbors, basically. Our goal is to raise this region as a whole, as being a place that can deliver many different types of wines. And our segment, of course, is fine wine, is ultra premium wines. And we look at it as our competition. Our competition is really to the west. Our competition is getting in those people that have their cellars and fine wine collections. We want to get our wines in those. We want to do what we feel are the right grapes grown in the right area and made the right way that are very, very good. It's excellent. It's a five star. It's a someday 100 points. And continue down that road forever. Forever, how, how long we can do it. And maybe the next generation and the generation after that. The history that you get over in Europe with these families that started it hundreds of years ago and they keep it in the same family all the way through is something that we would love to see if that would be possible.